Okay, so for this problem, we're going to use the same region that we used for the last problem, this triangle here in blue. Uh, the only difference is this time we're going to revolve about the x-axis. So we're using a horizontal axis of rotation. And if we want to do shells, right, so here's, here's a typical shell, kind of here, right? Because it's now aligned kind of the other way from what we've been doing, that means we're going to have to use y as our integration variable rather than x. So this line, y equals 2x plus 1, we should rewrite that. x is 1 half y minus a half, right? Sort things out. And just like when you're doing integration with respect to x, the main thing is to figure out, okay, I know that my sort of cross-sectional area is going to be 2 pi r h. So what are the radius and height for our cylinder? This time it's functions of y. Well, the radius is just the distance from here to here. It's just y, right? So the radius r of y is y. What about the height? Well, the height is here, right? It's the distance from this side of the triangle to this side of the triangle, from here to here, expressed in terms of y. So here, um, x is equal to 1. Over here, x is equal to 1 half y minus a half. We want the difference in those x values. So it's 1 subtract 1 half y minus a half. And be careful about double negatives. I messed this up the first time around. Um, 1 minus minus a half, 1 plus a half becomes 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 minus 1 half y. Okay. So we put this into the volume formula. 2 pi integral. y goes from 1 up to 3. r of y, h of y, dy. 1 to 3, y times 3 over 2, minus 1 half y, dy, right? First time I tried to work this out, I, I missed that minus sign. I got 1 half here instead of 3 halves. Um, the way I knew I did it wrong, answer came out negative, right? Volume's got to be positive. So let's clean this up. 2 pi, 1 to 3. 3 over 2y minus 1 half y squared. Um, if you want, you can cancel the 2s. Okay. So what do we get? Pi times 3 over 2y squared minus 1 over 3y cubed from 1 to 3. So putting in the upper limit, we get uh, 27 over 2 minus 27 over 3, which is 9. Upper limit minus lower limit, uh, 3 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Okay, and I suppose we should probably try to clean this up. Um, so this is 27 over 2 minus 18 over 2. So we get pi times 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over 3. So that is going to be 9 minus 3 is 6 over 2, so 3. 3 and a third times pi gives us 10 pi over 3.